This one in Boss Bottled United from 2018. It uses buchu leaf. Buchu leaf in South Africa, they use that as a medicine to cure infectious diseases. Hence what's going around in the world at this time and age of this video. Buchu leaf actually produces a spicy, almost peppermint green fresh note when it's used in fragrances. It also uses the blood orange note and that blood orange is like the orange that you cut them open and they're red, almost red flesh. And that produces a sweet, sparkling, citrusy, sweet orange smell mixed with that peppermint makes this very unique. And then you have the orris root. What is orris root? Orris root is like the root of an iris, which produces almost a raspberry or a violet note. All that mixed together makes this extremely unique. And it makes you feel really good when you spray it. Sometimes, you don't look at all the numbers that always, what's the performance? How far does it shoot out? Sometimes you wear a fragrance because it makes you feel good and it's unique and sets you apart from the rest and it gets you compliments, even though the performance is not as good as it could be coming in around three to five hours, depending how much you spray. Price tag in department stores in the United States, about $90 on the discounters. However, they're about $40 for 3.4 ounces. Boss Bottle United, not bad of a fragrance find. Coming up next, I got a really cool bottle design from Diesel 2012. Such a cool design. You think you can guess what it is? But first, Dolce Gabbana 2014 Intenso version. It's basically the parfum version of the old classic Dolce Gabbana. You got hay, you know, hay, you got tobacco, you got basil, mint, lavender, sandalwood, all in all, it's take that Dolce Gabbana and make it into a parfum. And you got a warm and great, a warm, inviting, delicious scent, great for the autumn or colder weather with six hours. Again, longevity and performance average, maybe more if you spray more. And if you're new here, my name is Christian O. On this channel, we discuss all things fragrances related. All the viewers that watch this channel, they're very professional, they know lots of information. Why don't you comment down below and ask them a question? One of them will answer to you or myself will answer any of your questions you have. If you like this sort of content, consider subscribing, hit the like and all that other stuff you're supposed to do. And another thing, if you like to watch more videos similar to this, click on playlist. We do have a hidden gem video section with seven or eight different videos you can watch like that. Real quick, 72 hours ago, I got Supremacy Afnon Incense, brand new release. Never tried it yet. I did spray it on the box three days, 72 hours ago, three days ago, and I'm still, when I brought this box down, the thing was still projecting. I knew I had the right box because some of these boxes look sim similar with this Afnon Supremacy line. This one's called Incense. It has the same notes as Creed Aventus. Nowhere near smells like Creed Aventus. I can't tell you how long it lasts, except for on paper, it lasts forever. It's very smoky and incense -y. It does have your rose, your vanillas, and it has your spicy, spicy oud in it. So there's that. It's very, very intense, but well blended. Kind of reminds me of a very stronger, intense version of Spice Bomb, but not nowhere near as mass appealing. So just have to let that one go. I sprayed it on one guy the other day, just on his hand, and I smelled it and went, woo, because it was like, I like it when it kicks your butt like that instantaneously. When some fragrances do that, you know it's a winner. So I believe this one's gonna be a really good, long-lasting performing winner. It'll be available at this website very shortly, if not by the end of this video, by the time this video is uploaded. Question of the day for this video is, what is your under the radar hidden gem masculine fragrance that you would like to tell us about? Comment down below. Next up is the hidden gem of the day. Did you guess what it was by Diesel? If not, it's called 2012 Diesel Tattoo. Diesel, only the Brave Tattoo is tattooed on the hand. This little bottle is 50 milliliters, cost about 29 bucks. Then you got the 2.5 ounce, about $5 higher than the other size is about $10 higher than that. So you're right in a nice ballpark for price. Apple, sage is in here, amber, and tobacco, and styrop balsam. What is styrop balsam? It's a resin found underneath some wounded Asian trees, and it produces a spicy aroma somewhere in between a clove and a cinnamon, kind of like that type of aroma. This has a decent to above average sillage or scent trail. 
and you definitely get the nice mass appealing fruit vibe so for that reason you can be 19 all the way up to older mature men can wear this masculine spicy fresh and citrusy mass appealing a similar scent to this would be called Kuros Silver. It has a similar notes, more than 55% notes, based on the similar notes, a similar scent. As we move up this list, I, I presented this list from good to great, which means the great titles are coming up. And at the end of this video, you get five bonuses as well. And by great titles, I mean more mass appealing, more popular, even though they are hidden gems, a little bit more mass appealing brand names. We'll start with Creed Royal Oud, which is another kind of a hidden gem for the Creed line. Woody, musky with a hint of pepperiness mixed on top of Oud. Definitely a Macho Man fragrance. Definitely they try to capture the essence of Oud and present it to a mass public so that maybe you might like it if you're not an Oud lover because oftentimes the word Oud, which is another spicy resin coming out of trees, and it's very pungent can be offsetting to the masses so it's more uh, oud fragrances are more for a level two advanced fragrance lover and also another hidden gem is your highness green which by another afnon product it's a spicy green note with the leather and the oud it's got many similar notes to this but that doesn't mean anything it's more smelling like polo green with added oud so maybe a deluxe spicier richer longer lasting version of polo green there's a special price for this. this is a very heavy bottle and beautiful presentation niche style fragrance and as we continue this hidden gem video i know that at least one or two thousand of you watching this are fragrance lovers that have been around for decades possibly or at least know a lot about fragrances for many years and maybe nothing on this list seems like a hidden gem to you but if I go out to the public, which I do every weekend, and I get people's responses, I ask guys from ages 25 to 45, and I say, hey man, have you ever smelled Issey Miyake? What is that? Hey man, have you ever tried Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Maire? Never heard of it. Now given, yes, out of 10 people, six say they have, maybe five, half of them say, but oftentimes a lot, especially the younger crowd, have never heard of this, so to them, this would be a hidden gem. We all bow down to you, fragrance lover, who knows all about this, but let's be open-minded and talk to the masses. There's other viewers here. That being said, let's continue the video. Top five coming right here, Fahrenheit. Now, is that a hidden gem? But this Fahrenheit cologne is, this is a more modern take on the Fahrenheit DNA. A youthful crowd can pull this one off. It's a Fahrenheit DNA. More fresh and easier to wear with moderate to six hour performance. Next up we have Terry D. Hermes de Parfum Edition, which is citrusy fragrance with a moderate scent trail, but it's very long lasting, very versatile for all types of clothing you might think of, as well as the Fahrenheit. You could wear casual or dressed up in a suit or dressed in a Oxford and jeans for all occasions, all day time, and refreshing fragrance for any age man for both of those as well. And this one again is very long lasting. Now coming up for 2019 is one I just discovered myself called Givenchy Givenchy Gentleman. Now Givenchy Gentleman has five titles that are called Gentlemen, starting back in 1974, the old masculine barbershop one. This one's 2019, it's called Cologne Edition, actually, Givenchy Gentlemen Cologne. And in 2017, they have Eau de Toilette, which is delicious. And in 2020, they're coming out with one called Pau Femme Boise, which means it's got an added wood note to it. And in 2018, they had a Pau Femme. That's the history of the Givenchy Gentlemen. Now we come back to this. You have Oliver Cresp and Natalia Lorsen who created this masterpiece. It's very fresh. It kind of reminded me of something called Dior Homme Cologne, but it's not really, it just reminded me of it because it's white and it sprayed it and it's lemony with the iris note as well, but it's nowhere near like that. It's a very elegant citrus. You think about the fruits that have thick rinds, that's what's in it. You know, it's thick rinded roots. 
It's got petit grain oil, which is an oil extracted from bitter orange trees. So you're thinking about bitter fruits. Specifically, they extract it from the green twigs of the tree. So you're thinking about green notes, citruses that are, again, this makes you feel cool and crisp. And you can wear this in the summertime or all. Very versatile fragrance, trying to think of what would match up well. People say it reminds them of something called Carvin Low Intense. And also Gucci Guilty Oat Style DNA. That's kind of a reach just to give you an idea. And if you really broke down the notes and compared by notes, similar note structure, you would see that this is similar to Eau de Iceberg. And that would be a similar scent cheaper than this which is falling right around 40 to 50, 60 dollars on internet discount sites based in the USA. Now you came to your top two, and these are what I wear almost every day I try to. I was gonna put this Creed Aventus, but this by no means is a hidden gem. You're right, but how about this one? Creed Aventus Cologne, nobody ever talks about that. I demolish that thing, cause this thing gets the job done. I've never gotten so many compliments. Every time I wear it, I'm prepared to receive compliments. That's what this thing does, fresh citrus. Very expensive fragrance. The only thing I could find that's similar scent cheaper is something like this Afnon Supremacy Silver. This is like 28 bucks. This is like 425 bucks, but well worth it. And number one on the list this year is Dior Sauvage, but specifically, again, there's another one. It's simply card called the Parfum edition of Dior Sauvage, about $150. It's a very yokeful version of the Dior Sauvage. It's a little bit easier to wear than the regular. It does last a nice long time and gets you compliments in the first hour. It's kind of smoother and not as much bite and not as much spice in it. And of course, not as much as that Projection Beast as the Eau de Toilette Hall of Fame one, but it's still comforting and still has that Sauvage DNA. And now for your five times bonus section. Spice Bomb Fresh from 2014. Absolutely perfect for springtime weather in the United States. Perfect for a hotter tropical weather as well. It's got that Styrox balsam we were just talking about, which is a resin that smells in between of a cinnamon and a clove. We also have no leather in this if you compare it to regular Spice Bomb. It does kind of smell like it, but it's a little bit different. It's called Spice Bomb Fresh. This thing has serious longevity and fantastic projection and performance, right about $70 to $80 on the internet discount sites. With smaller bottles, much cheaper. Then you could also consider this Azara Wanted by Night. This is a great masculine fragrance with leather and tobacco and just very welcoming, mass appealing, and women love it as well. Then you could try this one, it's called Tribute Black. It's also got tobacco and oud, and it's masculine and soft and long lasting as well. And then they also make one called Tribute Blue. It's for people that are more daring. That's intense and spicy blue notes mixed with oud. That's what it makes me feel like when I think about it. Kind of smells like a campfire, the Tribute Blue one does. And then from the 70s, you have Gray Flannel. It has iris and some other notes back then that they used some rose maybe this thing can possibly clear out a room it's very aggressive and intense but it's very well made 15 bucks and lasts a nice decent amount of time hey if you like other videos like these hidden gems click this one right here it's not bad right there be safe out there okay